Hey guys, what's going on? So in today's video, I am of course very excited because I'm going to be talking about these new Nicks here. These are not my Nicks. These are my buddy Mario's new Nicks that I had sent to me to review before forwarding them on to him. So Mario, thank you so much, my friend, for uh, helping me out with my channel and my content and getting to feature really cool boots like this. So this is a very special pair of boots. So this is the Nyx boot made of Wicket and Craig double stuffed leather. These were limited to only a hundred pairs total. This is the newest Wicket and Craig leather offering, which is the natural double stuffed. It's exactly as it sounds. It's stuffed with waxes, oils, and tallow. This creates a beautiful pull-up effect that highlights the grain and character of the leather. We've worked with Wicket and Craig for the past few months to develop something truly special. This new leather Natural Double Stuffed is a beautiful pull-up leather that is rich with character and color. It is packed full of waxes, oils, and tallow to produce this amazing finish. Now one really cool thing about this leather is that just by looking at it and actually touching it and feeling it, I would have thought that it was actually chrome tanned. But after doing some research and looking at the NYX Boots YouTube channel, they actually describe how the, these boots are actually 100% vegetable tanned. In fact, all leathers from Wicket and Craig Tannery, I believe, are fully vegetable tanned, so no chrome tanning here. And so a little bit about this pair. There was a little bit of uh, trouble getting this pair. So the original order was placed in May 2022. Then in December of 2022, about six months later, I got an email saying that these boots are ready to get started for building, but the tannery, Wicket and Craig, has been struggling to hit lead times, and so they had a shortage of leather that we had originally selected for the order. And so they gave us the option to change leathers, but we stuck with this because this is rare. This is a newly developed leather, this double stuffed. We really wanted to keep that, so we were willing to wait. By the looks of it, they actually still have this leather. I don't think they sold all 100 pairs. So. On the NYX website right now, I think you can still order this exact boot. I believe this is gonna be built on the Builder Pro model. Now, I'm not an expert on NYX, but this is a taller boot, and by my eye, so this is on the H and W last. The boot height, I believe, is eight inches. Let me double check that. Okay, so it's actually nine and a half inches from ground to the top of the shaft and then the upper alone is eight inches. So that's an eight inch boot. The length is size nine, the width was E, the last was H and W. We went for moderate arch support, eight inch high, top style of the ankle here is rolled, hardware configuration, hooks and eyes, which I do prefer. I prefer speed hooks, especially on a tall boot like this. Uh, we went for polished brass on the hardware, pull loop, so this was basically a custom build. And so I don't know that there's necessarily a Nyx like name. I think it, this is more or less a Builder Pro. It's gonna be moderate arch support, H and W last, very nice last here. Really beautiful rounded out toe. And what's really interesting about how this boot looks in person is that, you know, understanding a little bit about how boots are made now, you can see that the front portion of the boot as well as the back portion of the boot are both very light in appearance and that's because this is the portion of the leather that got stretched so this double stuffed leather will lighten up as it stretches and as it creases and things like that but you can see on this panel here on the quarter panel it's considerably darker and that's because that wax finish has not been stressed or broken or distressed in any way. And so this is the original color of the leather. This is what the leather would have looked like when you just unrolled it, laid it out on the table, the entire side laid it out on the table. It would have been this nice earthier brown color. But then, yeah, you can see in the toe and the back heel stay, it's lightened up into more of a bright orangey amber color. And that's because this part of the leather was stretched and stretched pretty hard. You can see the pull-up effect when I kind of run my finger in there. You can see how it lightens up along the shaft, um, but then obviously it immediately returns to its original color once the wax settles back down. That's what I love about boots, they're living things. So these came with beautiful rawhide laces, and then these also came with a set of kilties in the same leather, which is, I think, a really, really cool touch. 
I laced them up and I threw the kilties in and yeah these kilties are just insanely nice a lot of good color character on these kilties as well and yeah you can see as I uh, contort the leather you can see the pull-up effect how it lightens up there speaking of kilties I actually sell kilties on my website dalesleatherworks.com as well as cuffs as you can see here this is double and a triple wrap cuff combined this is, is an Olmo waxy I think that this particular set of cuffs would go very well with these double stuffed uh, Wicket and Craig Nicks boots. And speaking of cuffs, so my friend Jen at Dudet Style on Instagram, I will leave a link to her IG in the description below. She was kind enough to do some amazing product shots of my Dale's Leatherworks cuffs in golden yellow waxy battle lassie as shown here. She is a phenomenal photographer, very inspired. She's into all the same heritage leather gear and leather boots and wallets. I wanted to give her a shout out in the video, not only highlight and show some of her work here, but also to help her sell a couple pair of boots that she's looking at moving. So first up are going to be some Alden cap toe boots. So these are the Alden Lefo naval boot in size 7D in color 8 shell cordovan. And this is a really beautiful shade of shell cordovan. It's got lots of reds popping through. It almost looks closer to a color 4, but it of course depends on the light. But some color 8 is lighter, some color 8 is more of a darker eggplant color. But yeah, these definitely have lots of reds coming through. So this is a really good pair. Yeah, so she's selling those. So if you're interested, DM her at Dudet Style. That's Dudet underscore style on Instagram. So these kept boots are made for LeFo. They're built atop a Dynite rubber outsole, 360 degree flat welt, natural edge trim, tonal welt stitching made from burgundy color 8 Horween shell cordovan, open lacing style, metal eyelets, metal speed hooks, and a US 7D shaped over the berry last. And up next are, she is selling her Vibergs. These are Vibergs in a rough out, Viberg engineers in a natural rough out color size 7d which would fit a standard size 8 true to size they have really cool viberg logos on there just an amazing pair and again these are for sale if you're interested in these please dm her at dudet underscore style on instagram and check out her page she's got a lot of amazing photography a lot of amazing boots great collection i also sell veg tan insoles and i do specialize in bag making that's what my passion is uh, so if you're interested check out my website dalesleatherworks.com yeah on the box it says here mto h and w last eight inch wicket and craig double stuffed size 9e so we've got plain toe we've got a vibram mini lug commando sole we've got double stitch down welt the welt stitches are very well done the spi isn't very high but that's okay it doesn't really affect much of anything the inner stitch down is going to be 270 degrees the outer stitch down welt stitch is going to be 180 degrees the back heel stay is a separate piece we've got this really attractive looking uh, back heel strip that is triangular stitched in uh, here and here and then we've got a box stitch next and then a, another box stitch to finish it off really accentuates the contours of the back heel stay we've got a, a pull tab here as well which i do recommend and just looking at the thickness of the pull tab i can tell this is really thick stuff shout out to weston rose anvil thank you sir for giving me this idea so this double stuffed wicket and craig leather is seven ounces on the dot that is thick stuff for a boot most boots i'd say are made anywhere with leather from two to four ounces but typically it's going to be in the two to three ounce range i believe so seven ounces thick that is thick stuff that leads me to my next point about nicks nicks really of all the pacific northwest boots of all the american-made boots i think nicks really makes some of the best workhorse boots the reason being they're getting really thick cuts of leather out of any boot maker that i've seen they always take the really thick beefy hardy cuts of leather and incorporate those into their boots they're really making beautiful high quality boots but 
I think what sets Nick's and White's apart, but especially Nick's, I think Nick's does this very well. They just get the th really thick, hardy cuts of leather. Uh, there's there's no light, delicate leathers incorporated into their uppers. From from what I've seen uh, in person, whether we're talking about Chrome XL, whether we're talking about Seidel's Double Shot, whether we're talking about Wicket and Craig harness leather, they always get really good, thick cuts of leather for their panels and uh, it just shows like they're trying to create work boots you know other companies make they use thinner leathers and that's fine for the day-to-day -day average person but like for somebody who's out there doing wildland firefighting and hard forestry work you need thicker uppers and more robust materials and uh, for that reason Nick's really man do they pick the the creme de la creme uh, not everybody needs that creme de la creme tons and tons of thick leather in their boots, but NYX just goes that extra mile. And so of all the Pacific Northwest makers, I'd say NYX is probably the best for that. Uh, and so they quadruple stitch the quarter down, triple stitch the back heel stay down, so they're not skimping on the stitches. Though I will say I had to, uh, the stitch finishing, there was some sort of frayed stitching here and here, sort of in the same spots, as well as there's a couple spots on the sole that I actually just took a uh, lighter and, and burnt that down real quick just so that there wasn't any loose threads. There was some loose threads there, but not a big deal. That's just how they finish the leather. Again, they're not trying to make the most refined boots, though these are very exacting in terms of, you know, nothing here is sloppily done at all. But I could tell that when, when they're done with the stitching on the machine, they just cut it. They don't like take extra care to like finish off the thread or burn it back down not a big deal at all so these boots are unlined nice rough out on the inside the tongue is going to be a different leather i'm not sure what that is but that's a brown leather it really complements the look of the boot i think it's more of a chocolate brown whereas the upper here is going to be all natural so no dyes incorporated here the roll top is double stitched down on the inside very nicely done roll top I would be remiss if I did not bring out my NYX boots. So these are my NYX swashbucklers from my buddy Angel at Nobleman's Apothecary. Check out his site. He's a great dude. I love Angel. I had him on my channel for a real boot talk. He is a solid guy. These are my NYX swashbucklers. These were a special run that he did and they're very, very similar. So these double stuffed are fully gusseted all the way up. Same with my swashbucklers, though my swashbucklers I believe are six inch boots. They're not the eight inch like these. Uh, lots of good arch support in my swashbucklers too. Going in line with what I was saying earlier about how Nyx really chooses like the thickest, most robust cuts. And not just that, they're using fresh cuts of Chrome XL, of Wicket and Craig. From what I've seen, Nyx doesn't use a lot of dead stock. And what I mean by dead stock is you know, some, some makers will sort of put leather into the back corner of their workhouse and let it sit for years. Uh, Viberg does this. They use, they run dead stock leathers all the time. It's really cool, actually. It's really cool to like bring back an old material and give it new life by making footwear out of it. Uh, I think it's amazing. Don't get me wrong, but from what I've seen, Nyx and Whites, but Nyx in particular seems to really have their their operation down. I mean, it's a big operation. They're getting this stuff fresh from the tannery. Like I could tell when I got these that the Chrome XL was fresh, hot off the hot off the press. In other words, it's really some of the best Chrome XL I've ever had. Like, well, this is actually a natural waxed flesh, but it undergoes most of the same tanning processes as, as Chrome XL. This is the smooth out waxed flesh, and this is the rough out side of the waxed flesh. Yet yeah, it's just some of the best cuts of waxed flesh I've ever seen. It's it's thick. Yeah, th these are lined, so I wouldn't be able to get a good gauge on the thickness. But it, it, the thickness does appear to be about the same as the uh, double stuffed here. They seem to be using a lot of fresh leathers and a lot of really, really robust, really thick, hardy leathers. That's what I really like about. Nix. Yeah, a lot of similarities between these two builds. So we've got polished brass eyelets, same circumference on both. We've got some speed hooks, same exact speed hooks, really robust speed hooks as well. These aren't the type that are going to cinch down on you. They're not flimsy. They're very hardy. They will hold up against, you know, like if you were to say sit on your boot or rub up against a tree or something, put weight on those, those aren't going to cinch down on you. So the back heel stays are identical. Same exact, yeah, stitching, stitch count, back heel strips are the same. Really cool. I think these are even the same last. 
Uh, maybe not. Maybe not the same last. Maybe not the same last. I'm not. I'm not exactly sure, actually. So my swashbucklers have a uh, what's called a packer heel. You can see on that heel there that it's at a slant, whereas these double stuffed uh, have a standard block heel. So mine has the packer heel. Just gives it a little bit more stylish of a look, I'd say. And mine also has the my, the swashbucklers have much more arch support, whereas the double stuffed have standard arch support built in there. Yeah, mine's on a V bar. Both are plain toe, both have kilties. These kilties are actually Nobleman's Apothecary brand kilties. Beautiful. Yeah, both are fully gusseted again with that same type of tongue. It's really a nice material, really softens up over time. We got the rough out on the inside of the tongue. Yeah, quadruple stitch quarters, quadruple stitch quarters. Both are double stitch down, really nice. I thought it would be cool to just kind of compare my Knicks to Mario's Knicks. I think they're both absolutely phenomenal. It's really fun to like see like how the company is very consistent. NYX is very consistent from this to this pair. I'm really impressed with their operation and with their end product. I think they really do phenomenal work. These are Armageddon boots. These are boots that, <laughs> you know, my buddy Nick from Stridewise, he reviewed some NYX and he said, you know, he loves boots, but he said they're just sort of, they're too much boot for him. You know, like he's a city guy, he's walking around, the concrete jungle whereas this boot is just like sort of overbuilt for his purposes it is finally happening after four and a half years of running a boot channel nick's doing nicks i finally got around to reviewing nick's handmade boots this is a massive institution in pacific northwest boots and some of the heaviest meatiest boots you are ever going to find that's what i actually really appreciate about these boots is these are built for burly, manly men, for hard work. They're not meant to be babied. They're meant to be used and abused and loved. And uh, for that reason, I have nothing but the utmost reverence for this brand. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. What do you think about these amazing double stuffed Wicket and Craig boots? I think they are just insanely good. I'm really impressed with everything that's come out of Wicket and Craig. And, and Nix uses that tannery quite a bit, and for good reason. They're, they're churning out absolutely super duper tough leathers. Please leave me a like on the video if you enjoyed the content. Let's keep the love of boots alive. Thanks a lot for watching guys. I'll see y'all in my next video.